hey guys welcome back to my channel on this is video is going to be a fourth video of building the applications on a react and i'm using the jwt token uh, for our authentications and uh, uh, i'm also using a redox management uh, redox the state management tool on my uh, react applications here so so far on the previous video what we built is we built a sign up functionality if i go in login and sign up in sign up functionality i can add any name here if i add a name called uh, name and if i put my email address here and if i put my password if i submit then it's gonna uh, call the apis okay so if i if i go in here and if i go in my redox here and you see uh, my uh, user is been uh, as, as a register here that's why my state is going to change here it is and i'm also always getting a token and i'm using the uh, spring boot uh, the api i created the api on the spring boot uh, and here if i click my user this user has been created here which is good and this is a swagger document here which i have and i already showed this everything on a part one for this video series now on this video what i'm going to do is whenever it's some sign up has been completed then it will go to the uh it need to go to the my home page and just uh, it need to go actually the account page or home page it doesn't matter it's really up to the business logic that is need to be right but i will send it a home and i will just change i will also put the, the username on the front of the uh, the home uh, okay so i'm gonna do everything on this video uh, so so far what we did we go in sign up page so i'll just go in my home art and register page here so whenever this register is been triggering trigger right if it's triggered then it's going to call this event call uh, the register auth action uh, which is on my action which i have register auth action and if this is will push and this will uh, call my here here the register action is going to return this and with register fill then it's going to return my empty array right that's all it does okay <clears throat> So now uh, when I submit here, uh, then the first thing is uh, when I submit, then it need to go to the home page. And the first thing what I really do, I, I really want to do here is I'll go in a header here. Okay. So header here, uh, I will uh, get my st Redux state here first. And based on the Redux state, I can able to change that uh, the, the, the nav bar. Okay. So I will use a connect or the higher order component. And the second one, I'll pass the header. And I will try to use the connect here. So I'll just try to get the connect from Redux. So it's the exact same process here. Similar like a re, uh, uh, similarly like this dispatch here i will use the exact same one i'm not going to type it out so i will I'll pass this and this will be a dispatch function and of course then this dispatch is not going to be registered because we are registering on a register js that's why we use a register here but on this one we are not going to use this at all okay so now i need to change it here and uh, okay it's okay so what i'm going to do is I'm, i will put the dispatch here and here i will get a state here so when i when i pass this on here now in a props i will get the the state okay so here i will get the two of these uh, the property the one is user and another is a register which are defined there i don't want to register so i need to remove that but i'll leave it there for now i'm going to come that later on so here user i i will get uh, instead of the user i'll just do auth okay so here in auth i will get the the redux state here so based on this auth i can validate that uh, the user is logging or not okay so here is the auth has something a property which i define in redux so if i go in redux here is is login state has it so in if the auth is has a login state if the login is true then if the, if the login is false then show me this one so i'll use something called react fragment to wrap this up okay and uh, of course i'll use a reader fragment if login is false then if login is true uh, if the login is not true then show me this if the login is true then 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 show me a logout button so now if i if i refresh then it will show me only two or oh, register auth action is not defined 
the reason behind is I was trying to get this register all action but I don't want to use this at all for now so I'll just leave it as empty for now um, I will come back this later on <coughs> on this one I need to do a logout for that so I'll come back later on for that so now I have a login and sign up that's all I have it here which is good okay so what happened if I sign up right when I it, it will call this uh, reducer here the I register successfully and if register failed then it's going to return this so if if register is successful then the another things I want to do it here is to I want to also store this in the local storage so whenever the user will refresh the page and uh, yeah of course whenever the user will refresh their page then it will not use and it will not last the session okay <coughs> But before I, I do that, uh, let me go to my uh, register one more time. Uh, not register, sorry, and on action here. I just want to make sure that history. Okay, so I'm also uh, using something called history here. Okay, so basically what happened is whenever we register it, right? Whenever we click this button, then I'm also uh, using the history here. So basically this history is coming from the React router and I'm passing the history. To reroute that to the home page I mean there might be a better way to do it but this is how I do if you guys know any other better way please let me know so on this register basically whenever the form will submit on register or signing up then this register will call and here I'm passing the history as well and I'm passing the history on the register auth action and in the register auth action will get the history which is here where is it here action register auth history so whenever it submit then it will push that to history and it will go to the home page okay so if i go to the home page here uh register right uh no where is my header here home page then i will see this as logout and i will also print here the name of it okay i will also print the name here on it so so, so the here in the art i will already i, I i'm already getting the uh, login but i will get the user as well so user has a name so i can use all the user has a name if it's logged in and i will make this class as a as a display flex uh, so, so i can i can show this as as in the same line not not as as a block field so let's see what happened if i do it here if i put it here something called this one same right and sam is same then i will submit then it's supposed to go to home page and it will show me here okay and this will store everything on the redux right so that's all it does now so if i show it here i will show you the redux here then uh, register is successful that's why my state is changing and this is my current state for the redux and here and yeah this is my current state for redux and uh, yeah i'm not storing anything on local storage so the problem would, would be uh, it will work but whenever the user will refresh this page my state will disappear all right it will disappear and it doesn't know because it's not storing any information on uh, cookies or session storage or local storage it's not storing any information so user uh, so the my application doesn't know the user is logged in or not if i refresh it and to get rid of that problem is we can also add that in local storage so I'm, i will add that the information in a local storage so to do that whenever the uh, register is successful or uh, in an action right whenever this is successful right here then i will get the data here right so this is going to be my data is coming right here so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and i'm going to pass here so this is going to be my new newly created state right new state new new auth uh, new auth okay new auth state so this is going to be my new auth state so i will return the new auth state here all right which is good so in here I will what I'm gonna do I will store it I will set the item for a local storage here as well so I will give the name as auth and I will, I will put that in local storage which is good so I have everything's on my local storage here is saving but what happened if you refresh it if you refresh it then you will not get this data at all so I will create one helper function here to receive it okay so here I will call something called get, maybe here I'll JWG local storage I'll, I'll create some some of this object here and in on this object i will i will, ch I will say that get art uh, state i will make some one function called get art state okay so what what get or state will does is basically now 
I already uh, whenever is uh, successful then I'm adding something called an auth in my local storage so first I need to get that auth from the local storage okay so I will I will try to get this as from the auth from local storage so to get that local storage I'll get item and it is called auth okay okay here I can able to put this one because it I need to change that to stringify string otherwise it's not going to store it so I put as a string here which is good and here I'm trying to get as so here what I'm, I'm getting is I'm getting the uh, the string here so I need to change that to the object so I can get the property of it to get that in object so I will create another here called constant auth obj object and I will use the something called json.parse so it's gonna parse and give me the object here so now I'm getting the object so and but I'm only interested on the two property of the object which is x is called expired and the token uh, jwt token and this is which I'm coming from getting from auth object that users okay auth object also has a uh, the other one is login but I'm not interested on that I'm only interested on this two and then and now I, I will, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check if the current date which is current date you know what not current date sorry is if it's expired at if this is as expired date uh, sorry ex, if it is as expired date is greater than my current date okay so that means my token is valid if my token is valid then then what I'm gonna do the first thing is I will I will set my axios default uh, header right authorize headers common so basically at the time of every time when you uh, every time when you send the axios if it's logged in already then just send the authorizations okay if the token is valid then just send the my authorization here otherwise do not send the authorization at all okay so here I'm also setting my this one which is good and I'm I need to return my now auth of uh, art here oh not art sorry auth object right is your yeah, art object so now basically this function will return me the uh, art object if if it's not valid yeah, sorry if it's if it's valid so what happened if it's not valid if it's not even valid then it I will return something called art state which is going to my regular state okay and if there is something issue here then it still is going to return a regular state okay so so here on the reducer what I'm gonna do is at the time of calling this reducer every time whenever the call reducer is being called or, or here instead of the, using the odd state which is my uh, regular state the first thing is whenever it is loaded at first time uh, just just check this okay uh, instead of using date let me try this uh, let me try something this make this as a function and uh, uh, make this as as a function here right and and use this okay let me try that what was the issue as export default reducer issue art reducer and I'm trying to get this I'm trying to print this here okay refresh this where is the issue there's no even not even any issue but uh, so if I okay uh, of course uh, my, uh, I need I, I'm calling before the initializations so let me if I call it here then yep it will give me the expiration uh, expiration one and if I check my local storage here, uh, what's my local storage for this one? Uh, what is it? Mm. Oh, wait, uh, sorry guys, it should be on under the source, eh? not even a source. 
application here i don't i don't have anything that's why it's returning me this so what i'm gonna do is i will copy this code i'll put it here okay so whenever it's reload at the first time it's just going to check this right and and uh, yeah it's just going to check this and and pass it here basically i can pass this new art okay so i will pass the new art here okay so now what happened is i will not lose my sessions at the time of refreshing as well so now i'm gonna go in my redux and i'm gonna go and sign up and let's sign up the page and let's test it out i can get any error or not okay so i'll just submit okay register fail looks like this user is already been assigned if i register then okay looks like there is a couple of the issues with the data which i'm i'm posting it okay something is wrong something wrong with the api it's not uh, anything wrong with here but something wrong with the api so hold on a let me try something else submit yep something wrong with the api before not exactly sure but so now it's returning here and if i go in here in auth i can see my auth has been stored here as well if i check my video it's, it's successful and it's here now if i refresh what should happen it sh yep if i refresh here i'm still logging if you check i check my init i in initial state i do have a user because i'm get try to i'm getting this from user and i will passing it okay so if i st user will refresh it it's still he, he didn't even lose the uh, session that's that's what it this this code does okay so I got I'm passing this on new code here which is good so so far so good for now so what I'm, I'm gonna do is now I will make this logout functionality and I'm gonna create the logout functionality in the next video and uh, for now I think I will stop it here so and thank you very much for watching guys and uh, yeah. If you guys learn something new, please do subscribe my channel. I will uh, record more full stack videos on this channel. And thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, bye for now.